What's going on guys, it's Brandon again, and today I'm bringing you a new War Thunder video. This is going to be 8th day number 2, so I'm finally getting it out there to you guys. I apologize, there's been a lot of problems I've been having with the Fox Wolf 190s. They aren't really my cup of tea, so I'm still trying to get used to them. I don't fly them a lot, I usually stick to the 109s. But let's go ahead and jump right in this. We're going to be covering the World War II German fighter ace, Egan Maya, who was born on August 19th, 1917, at Kanstans in Bodensee. In 1937, at age 20, he joined the Luftwaffe, and after regular peacetime training, Maya was posted to the IJG-2 on December 6, 1939. And for those of you who do know, don't know what the JG-2 is, it's the Jagdgeschwader, uh, World War II Luftwaffe wing. And when the French campaign rolled around, he was servicing with the 6th JG-2. His first air victory was found on June 13, 1940, against a French Moraine fighter. Now, Maya ended up doing a lot of transferring around, but ended up at the 3rd JG-2 base at Beaumont Le Roger in France. His second victory was claimed near Portland on October 7th when he shot down a British hurricane. He also claimed another one when he transferred to the 8th JG-2 when he shot down another British hurricane at Chichester on November 15th, 1940. On August 1st, 1941, he was awarded the Ritter Cruz for 20 air victories. On November 23rd, Maya recorded his first victories over the United States Army Air Force 4-engine bombers when he shot down two B-17s and a B-24 Liberator. This marked his 78th kills. He's also credited with the head-on technique against bombers, so for the record, if any of you guys get shot down by a German Focke Wolf 190 in-game, you can blame this guy. So all my deaths from the German 190s, I can basically blame Egan Maya for all my deaths. Also another pretty impressive air victory he got was on September 6th when he shot down three B-17s in 19 minutes, which is pretty dang incredible, I mean, taking down that many B-17s in a short amount of time. Now Egan Maya has a ton of air victories I can go through, a lot of good ones, a lot of memorable ones, but I'm not going to go through all 102 like I did for Richard Bong's video when I covered each individual kill. So basically, to sum it up for Egan Maya, he was a brilliant pilot, but to sum it up for him, on March 2nd, 1944, Maya led a formation from JT-2 against the U.S. Army Air Force's daylight raid. The fighter escort overpowered his attacking group, and he was shot down and killed near Montmedy and was awarded the Schwarten. He had a total of 102 air victories, all recorded over the Western Front, including 26 bombers, 51 Spitfires, and 12 P-47 Thunderbolts. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of Egg and Maya. It took me a while to get used to the Focke Wolf 190s. I don't fly them on a daily basis, so it was a new fun plan to use, but I think I'll just stick to the 109s, even though these things have their perks and cons. But that's what he flew, the 190s. But anyway, guys, I'm going to do a Russian pilot next, so if you have any Russian aces you want me to do, please tell me down in the comments. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tell me your thoughts, anything you want me to work on. But anyway, guys, my name's Brandon, and... As always, have a nice day.